What's up guys, Avi Outdoors here, coming at you with another video. Um, I'm just gonna go out for a few hours. It is about four o'clock now, have another few hours till the sun starts to go down. It is already very hot in South Florida. It's been in the 90s multiple days this week. Today is one of those days, so very hot. Not looking forward to that so much, and as well as the fishing is gonna be a little bit slower, but I'm going to try to fish around the shaded areas. Hopefully there will be some big bass hanging around there. Might be able to get one on. Anyways, let's get after it. See you guys there. Alright guys, made it to the location. Now I just have a nice, very, very long walk until we get where we need to go. I saw on Google Maps, I saw a few little patches where it looks really shady. There's some nice hydrilla and lily pads, so I thought that maybe we'd have some nice bass hanging out in there. We're gonna try it out. Might get completely skunked. Might not. See you guys when we're out there. All right, guys, I'm just gonna stop in this little area over here. Throwing in a Senko green pumpkin. Just rigged weightless. Because right now, these normally would be a little bit later in the year, but these days when it gets really hot, the bass don't really like it either. So what they are going to do is they're going to hide out in the shadow. They're going to hide in the shade. They're not really in the mood to eat as well as they normally would be. Uh, that's one of the reason you know that the top water bite is so good in the morning and at the end of the day is because that's the time that the bass are ready to actually feed. So if you can find little pockets of shade, you can usually try to figure out from there where the bass might be hiding and you can usually get them. So that is what I'm trying to do here on the side areas over here. They don't get fished very often and you have a lot of cover. So the fish are gonna like that a lot. But um, problem is right now it's a little bit later in the day. I don't know that anything's gonna be biting on the top water, but. Let's give it a go. If we can figure out a way. Oh, something just took it. There we go. There we go. All right, so I wasn't saying anything because uh, it was making a lot of noise already stepping on this big metal gate. I saw a bass down in there, threw the worm in, he slammed it. So yeah, so like I was saying, these bass, you know, they're sticking to the cover, it's hot. They don't want to be hot either, sticking in the cooler areas. And uh, yeah, finesse pulled him out. Nice little guy, not the biggest. But uh, now we know we're here and they're biting. Let's get some more. All right. Let's see if we could reuse this worm. Yeah, not too bad. I think we could get another fish on this. and flipped them out of there. So I guess we found where the fish are biting. Maybe we can start pulling out some bigger ones. Nice little three quarter pound. Stop moving, I don't want to get a hook in me. He was a little smaller than the last guy we had and this worm is torn up. I'm gonna go ahead and re-rig that and I'll see you guys. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm using. I'm using Strike King. It's the Shime Stick. It's just a uh, another Senko knockoff. Green pumpkin. It's got a nice smell to it. Not, It's not the usual garlic smell. This one is anise 
for some reason there's about like three or four smells I've heard that bass seem to like. Uh, there's garlic, uh, anise, and for the life of me I can't remember the others. But uh, I don't know why they like it, I just know that they do. That's what people flavor every, all the different baits with. Oh, salt. They like the uh, taste of salt. It's not so much as it attracts them, more as when they're actually eating it. I think they say that it helps them hold on just a little bit longer. Go ahead. But yeah, they are digging the worm today. There we go. I wasn't even paying attention. I had a little backlash on my line. Man, these guys are just inhaling it. Is this the same fish? It sure looks like the same fish. All right, let's remember. This fish has a split in its tail right over there and another little notch at the bottom. Hope we don't see you again, buddy enough little guys yeah I wasn't even paying attention he just picked it up right as it was sitting there I just got... all right guys so as I'm walking back I just wanted to or not walking back walking to a new spot because I kind of fished this area it's a little too shallow I wasn't seeing any big fish I was just getting small bites here and there. Anyways, fun facts about the Everglades is a lot of people think it's actually a swamp. They think of the Everglades as like a nasty, mucky swamp. But in fact, it is a giant, very, very slow moving, but giant river. And they say that more than, I think, what is it? Like 8 million Floridians rely on the Everglades for water. That's a pretty huge, pretty huge amount. So, you know, just fun little fact for you. I love the Everglades. I've been coming out here since I was a little kid. Um, you know, just the wildlife, the fishing, obviously. It is a place that breeds some of the biggest bass. Uh, I mean, I've caught my biggest bass over here, so there's that. One of these days I'm gonna to try to get out to the Okeechobee area, try to get a fun video there of hopefully some giant bass. Do a little Scott Martin action, flipping and pitching. All right, that's all for now. All right, guys, so to wrap up the day, cause I am finally back in my car um, I fished for another few hours. It's around close to 8 o'clock right now. Sun's about to set. I was going to, I know I said at one point in the video that I was going to do some night fishing, but the bugs are just a little too fierce for me and I'm getting eaten alive. So I'm going to call it quits for today. Hopefully I have enough footage for you guys and it'll end up being interesting, but um, we'll see. Anyways, everyone stay safe. Have a good one. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary progress going on. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today.